Sometimes I do turn them off. It only it kinda depends on the roleplay. What why is Chris Brown trending on my timeline? Did he beat up another woman? What what the fuck's going on? People just wanted to remind us how awful he is, that's what it was. <laughs> See beefing with Drake too. <laughs> Trying to become relevant again. No, I think people were just putting him on my timeline. So here's a reminder why Chris Brown sucks. It, it looked like a threat of just allegations and police reports against him. They're mentioning the Rihanna incident again. Doesn't feel remorseful. Wait, it, this is not really a tattoo of Rihanna's face. It's not, right? He, like, he's... He sucks as a person, but he's not, like, fucking evil, is he? I mean, he did beat up Rihanna, and I think you have to be one of the worst human beings to do that. But, like, that's not supposed to be her, is it? There's no fucking way. Have you guys seen that tattoo? I don't think that's supposed to be her. That looks like a badly done tattoo of a Katrina girl. <clears throat> like this. It looks like he was going for this and just like had a shitty tattoo artist. For like half a Katrina. Half like a normal lady I guess like I don't I think this is kind of reaching I don't think I don't think he fucking tattooed her face like that like he he's still an awful person for putting his hands on Rihanna I mean he not only did he put his hands on her like look at her fucking face she got battered but I, I think that the two thing is reaching it's just a bad tattoo job. That's, that's obviously a Katrina girl. <clears throat> In a documentary, he states that Rihanna attempted to hit him first, but Fenty and the police report disproved this. It's also disturbingly clear that Brown brings Fenty for the entire incident during that documentary, saying Rihanna did this and Rihanna did that, actively trying to remove the blame from himself. According to Brown, Rihanna got out of the car, blah blah blah. Recently, when people were rightfully attacking him about his because you forgot, DB doesn't just go away. He goes to Instagram and blames the fact that he was apparently young and immature. 17 year olds are fully aware of what they do. Oh, did this happen when he was 17? Wait, what the fuck? How old was Chris Brown? I mean, it doesn't like. It, it still doesn't give him any excuses nor does it make it any better but like damn was he really that young he was denied a visa to the uk over the assault 
now that we pass the spark here some bonus instances all he's what do you mean past the spark this entire thread right now so far it's been about him and rihanna <clears throat> In 2013, he reportedly shoved a woman to the ground in the club and they were attending, injuring her knee. Diana says she went to the hospital and doctors told her she had a torn ligament in her right knee. She's going to see another doc later this week. Wait, what? But why didn't she sue him? Wait, what the fuck is this? It, like, if this is like a legit thing... And she was seen by a doctor and thing, wouldn't she get money? I mean, not saying it makes it any better, but like... This fucking post is reaching, right? And like, when you when you make, make shit up like this... Here's the thing, like, some threats are meant to keep the public informed. But when they do shit like this, that is just like reaching and grasping at straws, that's when I start losing you guys start losing credibility to me i start not believing or like even trusting everything you tell me so like how am i supposed to know that all of the shit that you're saying now is true when i know that this is just like reaching you know what i mean i hate when fucking uh informational in, like people that are trying to do educate people do this because you can't just give us half-assed information and like try to make a case in point i mean in this specific reason i 100 percent believe that chris brown is an awful person it's just that all the facts and like things that you're presenting to me are not some of them are not believable uh Okay, now they're talking about his homophobia. Got jumped by Chris and a couple guys. I only wish Everest was there. What? What? I don't get it. Clashes with Frank Ocean. Clash with fellow singer songwriter Frank Ocean. His group outside of West. There's no way Chris Brown beat up Frank Ocean. Wait, what? Brown allegedly punched Ocean and threatened to shoot him? According to an incident report TMC- Wait, this is new information to me. He's fucking unhinged. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? He's like... Chris Brown, when it comes to domestic violence, he's like, Nah, the violence is addicted to me. Chris Brown arrested for felony assault. How many assault charges does he have? What the fuck? Ray, 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 one seven seven. Thank you for the follow. Mwah. Being woman falls with animal abuse for me. Like, let me beat the shit out of you. To beating any other person is just abuse, and there's something mentally wrong with you. If you like, you know take advantage of the people that love you and physically assault them yeah there is something legitimately wrong with you you should seek help that's not fucking normal so if someone did fan art of you mowing the lawn where do we post it? <laughs> you can post it on twitter my tag I, guys can you help me out with the tag sometimes? I'm, I'm gonna ask you about it my current tag is bean it's like beans art but first of all i don't think everyone's comfortable enough writing beans we, there was a whole debate about it on twitter which i thought was really fucking stupid <laughs> someone was like please don't use the word bean it's so offensive blah 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 and i was like shut the fuck up get off twitter dude <sighs> Beating any person is only okay if they won in sports, in defense, or in the bedroom, in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Those those are the exception. <laughs> you know, you know what's good. Which Abigail? Thank you for the follow. 
Mm. Hi Kirby. Kirby. What do you think of the of the stud model? Hmm? <coughs> Am I making you guys question things? <laughs> he was a good boy. Karina, mm. mm. are you a good boy? Mm. Oh, where's that? Was that for me? <laughs> you know, the redeems get a little bit confusing when I switch up genders, models. <laughs> Motherfucker is getting offended by beans, yeah. Yeah. I wait, where's that fucking meme? Hold on. I'm gonna post a meme that like I don't know if it'll offend someone, anyone, people that don't like the word bean and beaner, but you know fuck it. I think this meme is fucking funny. Where is it? I had a save up. Um I'll post it with the good morning message. Here. I'm gonna post it in my not safe for work because I'm still trying to keep things professional on the main VTuber account. That way I can just pull it up here and show you guys too. <clears throat> it's <laughs> cute. It says, I was never punk or emo or anything. I was just a cool ass beaner, and that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen something more true and relatable. <laughs> I know some people are not gonna like this, but you know. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> but B is not one of them. Not making me question anything I haven't already. True. <laughs> but um I I don't I don't take offense to the word bean or or beaner like <laughs> I I mean obviously it depends like on the tone there's people that obviously use it as demeaning but I can read the room you know what I mean <laughs> and I don't think that uh, a certain like certain jokes translate to I don't think- okay, here, I, I'm stoned, so it's kind of hard to try to <laughs> articulate my words sometimes. But what I meant to say is that I don't believe that every comedian, every comedian that has made a racist joke is racist. Because that's how fucking Twitter works. You make one joke at the, like, trying to make a group of people laugh, and then people will pull out their fucking virtual pitchforks and try to cancel you but to me before i do any of that i always i always try to judge people for who they are as a person and their patterns but um some people just see oh joke i didn't like this person fucking sucks let me go support my favorite Hollywood groomer elitist and binge watch their show instead. Like, it, how does that even fucking make any sense? Twitter brain rot is real and it sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> Bot Ninja, welcome. Good morning. <clears throat> Honestly, sometimes I'm one good boy from a dude that I might end up on my knees. <laughs> I'm, okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to give you my manliest good boy. <clears throat> good boy. 
That was a good boy. <laughs> good boy. I tried. I need to, like I said, practice. Practice makes it better. <laughs> okay, um, I'm back on the Chris Brown thread. Let's get out of here. I actually just hopped on here to post that meme and read the morning news. Um, also, just like uh, a quick PSA, I guess. I don't. I feel like a broken recorder sometimes. <laughs> and I don't mean to. I don't mean to put anyone this far, but if if you consider donations, tipping, any form of like any form of uh, support that, or I don't know, if you throw money at me, basically. The expectation should be that you are doing so because you want to support me or like you want to send me a tip or you want to spoil me, you want to treat me out to lunch, something like that, right? Never, and I mean absolutely never, donate or serve or give me money in the hopes that I'm going to talk to you or I'm going to owe you my time because I don't do the girlfriend boyfriend experience package like some VTubers do and I'm not shitting on it I'm just saying that that's a service that I'm not offering right now or even have time to do or want to do so I'm just straight I'm not doing it <laughs> there's also a lot of people that come into my DMs and my fan site DMs and they ask me if they can pay me money to text them not even sexting sometimes just like straight up talking and I feel like in most cases especially because like my not safe for work account gives huge e-girl vibes which you know that's that's fine because it, <laughs> it's a website I mean it's an account where I do post a lot of thirst traps and a lot of uncensored thoughts and you know horny posts I'm a fucking horn dog in there okay I'm a feral animal <laughs> but um well while the money is nice uh, I don't it's not my incentive to like post content and you know post my <laughs> horny and feral posts I I do it because I like it and <laughs> I like the attention and I like creating content I like I like being a closet closet pervert um I'm, I'm getting flustered <laughs> so I'm stumbling my words a bit but I enjoy being a closet pervert okay getting paid for it it's just a plus okay so I know that a lot of other creators will give you more attention and treat you better than others because you know you're throwing money at them which is understandable on their part you know I'm kind of not judging the player don't hate the player hate the game sort of thing I guess um, but it, I don't, uh, I don't work like that, I don't, I um, get quite annoyed when people think that they can buy my attention or my time because I am really bad at time management. Um, <laughs> I don't even have the time to like actually hang out with some of my friends that I like haven't talked to in a couple of weeks, months, you know. So like for people to come in and be like, hey, I gave you a tip, I just want your attention and like maybe chat with you. Like when people do that, that shit pisses me off because, you know, I don't even have time to 
be texting back my friends like that. What makes you think that I'm gonna spend my time texting you or like interacting with you? <laughs> um, so, just I guess kind of a mini PSA slash rant because I was greeted with this message this morning. Um, I'm not, I'm putting them on blast, but not really because I'm censoring it. But uh, I got this message in the morning and I, it said, I sent you a tip because I want your attention <laughs> in like chat. This was an hour within, like it was an hour within I woke up. So like I was not in the mood to deal with this shit, you know, like, dude, I just got up. <laughs> Don't tell me that you tipped me to get my attention. Like I'm, I don't, I'm not. I have no obligation to sit here and fucking text you. It's fucking 8 a.m. in the morning. And so like I just replied back and I said I don't like people paying for my attention. Do you want your money back? Because I rather invest my time in people that generally want to get to know or care about me. You don't have to pay me to get my attention if you interact regularly with me or stop by one of my streams once, you have a better chance at getting to know me slash being my friend than paying me. <laughs> but like, that's that's the thing. It's just like, I, I don't want to shit on other content creators and like e-girls and not safe for work creators because they offer services like this where you like, you pay a fee to text them or like, you pay a fee to spend a day with them and hang out with them and you know I'm not shitting on the hustle but that's just not my incentive it's not me and I want my relationships to be genuine I mean the fact that I am a closet pervert and people pay to see that side of me like I said that's that's an extra for me I'm not uh, I'm not gonna milk you dry for your money for some interaction and company it's the reason why i started streaming like i know what it's like to be lonely and not have anyone to hang out with <laughs> it's the reason why i started streaming <laughs> just not going to <laughs> shut the fuck up shut the fuck up He literally said you want your money back. <laughs> I, it was just really early. What can I say? Also, can I just like, I love Kendrick Lamar, and I thought that Not Like Us music video release was really cool. Get not milk nerd. <laughs> Stop talking about milking. You're scaring away the bitches. Okay. <laughs> I thought. It was, it was a genius move to release the music video yesterday. I I thought it was great. The song, it's still one of my favorites. But, come on, can we just say that the ending scene was corny as fuck? Like, he had me the entire video. He... <laughs> I, I was with it, you know? I was like, oh, this shit is nice, you know? I, I was, you know, I was loving it. And then at the end, he fucking caged the owl and just like was staring it down and you know I know what it's supposed to <laughs> I know the interpretation right and what it what it's the message behind it but I just thought it was so fucking corny like dude come on you, you got an owl for this like <laughs> let the bro go go let him go back to his fucking owl house and do whatever owls do I don't know <laughs> it was still a good music video though. Uh, that song still hasn't gotten old. <sighs> you talking about Kendrick? You always gotta do something a little extra. I mean, the entire video was extra. I'm not saying this was extra. I'm saying it was corny. That w those were my my actual words. It was corny. But the video was nice. I liked it. Like up until that point, I thought it was fucking great. Uh. 
Uh, <laughs> won't be greedy and realistic. <laughs> a little bit one of the reasons why I love you because you stand on principle. Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't, I, I told you guys, I, I before I jumped into streaming, I was, um, I was a viewer, and I was in a lot of other communities. So, I kind of, I kind of like got what it's like to be on that side and what I don't want my audience to to experience, I guess, that I did. Uh, and it's definitely like when I join certain discords, don't, I'm not shitting on the creators again. I don't want, I don't want beef with anyone. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not hating on the player. I'm kind of hating on the game a little bit. But I definitely was part of communities where like people get more attention and they get you know, certain status or special roles because they are throwing a bunch of money at the streamer and it, it kind of alienates the other people when I think people that, you know, might not have the money but still spend time with you, watching you, interacting with your stuff I think those people are just supporting you just as much because visibility in content creation is everything, right? Um. And so, like I said, when I first started, it was mostly because I was lonely. Um, I have I have a day job, so um, like I said, the spicy and uh, <laughs> perverted side of me that I put out there is all for fun. Um, I'm, you know, I would say I consider myself to be in a privileged spot to say that because I know definitely a lot of creators that you just you know wave money around and their morals and attitudes switch up really fast I mean I witnessed it firsthand with my group of like friends and I, I talked about this specific group of people before they're not great people in my opinion they spread a bunch of rumors about me there were people that like started becoming beatovers like a year after i did and i helped them out they were my i i loved them they were my friends and i wanted what was best for them and i had the i had the idea that they also wanted what's best for me. I made the assumption that that was the case. Um, and you can you can see how fast money and jumping into content creation changes people because um, the the friend and the creator that started spreading rumors about me and. Try, tried to cancel me because I said the word retard wasn't that bad. They also tried to keep keep a friend that I made in my that we all made in that community, whose love language was like gift giving and stuff. So he used to like because we were both creators, right? Uh, he used to stop by our streams. He still does. I'm not gonna name anyone, but um, he still comes by my streams because we're friends. And the fucked up part was that like this specific beatover was trying to cancel me for saying the word retard wasn't that bad, but my surroundings and friends also had the same take as I did. They thought it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't something to cancel someone over, and um, because she was being showered get with gifts and like you know the occasional money or dip or um, she sent a DM to that friend saying that it didn't really it didn't really bother her as much. Some She said something, basically something along the lines of like, 
um i don't like that word but it's okay if you have a different opinion that's fine with me because i cherish our friendship and that shit fucking hurt because i was like where the fuck was this attitude with me are you just saying that you cherish their friendship because they shower you with gifts and money like that's really fucked up because how am i being the one prosecuted and being cut off cut oh my fucking tone changed <clears throat> hold on let me try to keep it manly here <laughs> menace 10 28 29 welcome but anyway i was just like I was just in such disbelief that this person bended their morals or quote unquote their moral high ground. They gave me so much shit about this word and then they turn around and send a DM to another close friend of mine saying that it, it it's okay and they can remain as friends even if they don't like the word. Why didn't they say that to me? It's because I wasn't throwing money their way. And I wasn't, you know, like, I wasn't gonna help their streaming career financially other than, like, probably support them with my, you know, like, as a friend. Because as much as I would love to give my friends a bunch of money and donate subs and, you know, um, treat them once in a while with a little tip, I would love to do that. But right now, I want to invest my money in myself and my community. And, you know, the only way that I could support her as a friend was by being there. You know, I was there for her a lot. A lot. And if she's watching this, she knows. And it was through a lot of things that other people would not bother or you know pay attention to i mean like i'm telling you it was some sometimes it was like stupid mentally draining shit like someone on twitter posted a similar joke than me and they got more likes than me that fucking sucks like are you fucking kidding me now that i'm looking back at this shit i give way too much of like <laughs> i give too much of myself to people that just don't reciprocate the same way and this was definitely one of those cases um i was there for them a lot and then they became a creator they got i don't know something in their brain chemistry changed once they started getting tips and donations and money from other people and then they just started using me for their gain and i'm pretty sure they were jealous of me no i'm not sure they were <clears throat> they were jealous of me and then they started telling other people that I say slurs then I'm racist that blah 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 and everyone else that said where's this coming from um <clears throat> they they got uh, a neutral apology of like everything's good we should all still be friends because she wanted to keep their you know their support and their money and and she wanted to only keep around the people that were going to help financially push up their Beethoven career or them as a person and I wish that I'd seen the signs sooner I mean I kind of did see them but it was one of those uh, in instances where um you know like your brain kind of tells you this person might not really like you and you tell your brain nah that's not right i'm just overthinking shit you know like we're friends we've been friends for over a year why would they hate me and then it turns out you're right <laughs> wait sorry chat I burped and that was going to be a fucking loud one. <laughs> Bees racist, she said the bean word. <laughs> and 
And don't get it twisted, I'm not even scared to say beaner. Like, why would anyone tell me that I don't have the right to use that fucking word? <laughs> Gracias for saving us. No problema, wey. I think you have the right approach in fostering a real community. Yeah, me too. Like I said, uh, I huge part of the reason why you, you can't pay me for my attention is because I don't want to make anyone feel like they're better than anyone else in my community because even I don't want to feel like I'm better than everyone else in there you know what I mean? I mean it's nice the doghouse is kind of a selfish place for me because you know it's the place where I call my second home you know I want to be pampered there, I want to be treated nicely, and I want to do the same for other people. Um, <clears throat> and I think having, you know, separate roles for people that are throwing money at me um, would kind of... Uh, would kind of start blurring, I guess, my objective of like, you know, making everyone feel welcomed and like there's no other person there that's like <clears throat> being um being to being held to a higher ground i guess that's what i mean <laughs> <clears throat> damn b dropping the hard b <laughs> Just this for perp. <laughs> Hi, creamy. Welcome. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good boy? <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Shit, balls! Cunt! Oh! Son of a puta! No mames! Ay! Hijo de la puta madre! Oh! Oh no, como dolió. Uy. Menso. <laughs> Boner tarnished. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get for getting a boner to a dog. Huh? How dare you? <laughs> Hydrate, puta madre. <laughs> I just came back thinking this is the right stream and then squee. Oh, you came right at that? That sucks. I'm sorry. You. I understand if you want to leave. <laughs> mm. I drop my my dab's pulley. I'll be right back. If I if I lean down, I was going to give the mic more interference and you guys would have heard an even more annoying pitch. It, every time that I lower myself like a little bit and I'm under the mic slightly, that's when the interference comes in. So I have to just like remind myself to stay at the level of the mic. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I, anyways, I picked this up. And I've been drinking water and I brushed my teeth like, what, more than 20 minutes ago? So I think I'm good to start eating now. We're gonna start with a protein yogurt. Um, I like Ziggy's brand. There's also um, Oikos, Oikos protein yogurt. I like them both, but I like Siggy's better because it kind of has that like more natural, rich, like, I don't know, this, this tastes straight from the cow. You know what I mean? I don't know, maybe some people aren't into that, but this shit, this yogurt tastes straight out of the fucking cow titty. <clears throat> That's what I'm having right now. Oh, 
Oikos is good though. But but if I can get Siggy's, I usually get that over. Yogurt ASMR. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> La vaca, mola mi ma vaca. Damn, what goes after that? Yo no escuchado esa canción en mucho tiempo. Está hablando de su de su esposa. <laughs> you guys remember the fucking uh, the fucking meatball song? I mean, you won't remember it unless you were Mexican. But the, the fucking guy that sings about his wife becoming a meatball and how much he doesn't love her anymore. Yo, that sh that song is foul, but it's it's a it's a banger. It fucks. Like I'm sorry for this guy's wife, cause that fucking sucks. But <laughs> it's it's a fucking staple now. Uh, golosa, golosa, así se llama, golosa y glotona, golosa, golosa, bien, <coughs> ok, ok, bien golosa, tú eres bien golosa, re bien glotona, tú eres re bien glotona, <coughs> That song fucks. <laughs> Hi Mike, good morning. I don't know if I said good morning yet. I've been japping so much. <clears throat> but good time to join us. <clears throat> Hi Chris. <clears throat> We're being manly today. Bringing you guys a bit of boy ASMR. Mm. How does it feel to be called a good boy by your puppy guy? Who's a good chat? Who's a good chat? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Five hour stream? Here we come, baby. No, this is my morning routine. That takes two and a half hours. <laughs> this is my morning routine that takes two and a half hours. Leave me alone. Mm. Can you guys. You guys wouldn't know anything about my routine. Only the most successful people have this type of routine. Didn't you hear? The more rigorous. And long your morning routine is, the more complicated it is, the more successful you are. That totally checks out. <laughs> Five hour morning routine. <laughs> okay, Paul on. Um. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Siggy's. Siggy's my beloved. You follow me through the day. 15 grams of protein in this shit. There's also ones that you can get that are like 18 and 20. But for a starter meal, well, like a snack, whatever. That's really good. My protein bar, the one that I. Like to eat the most has 10 grams of protein and um, It's made up of a bunch of nuts <clears throat> So it, it keeps me full in the morning like If I have a bar and yogurt, I'm good and I can go to the gym But after the gym, I'm always looking for something to eat 
Mm. Hi, Jay. Thank you for the reminder. I'll stretch too, because it's been two hours. Since I sat down. Yeah, <laughs> the more complicated it is, the less I want to do it. Mm. You'll never be successful in life, then. Tusk, tusk. You guys don't have a two-hour morning routine? Losers. <laughs> okay, I'm getting up. I'm gonna crack every bone that I can. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Uh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> All right, here come the piggies. Wait, why am I cracking? Chloe's morning routine is an hour longer than yours. <laughs> good morning, mortal. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Or night, whatever you might be. Mm. Ah. What else can I crack? <laughs> I'm addicted to this shit now. the Costco hot dog in my home. <laughs> Costco hot dogs are the most American and un-American thing at the same time because it's a great fucking hot dog and it's a classic, right? I love, I love Costco hot dogs, but they also have maintained the same price point since the beginning they've even to <laughs> inflation i don't know how they do it but they've never changed the price so i think it's the most american and un-american thing that someone could eat because american it's because it's a hot dog it's a classic it, the food courts have been around forever but it's also on American because it stays like the price point it stays cheap and that's not that's not the case over here everything's always going up and getting more expensive mm. so I think the Costco hot dog is like a medium between between worlds between freedom and the illusion of freedom as Americans <laughs> hot Costco hot dog analysis ASMR. <laughs> You're welcome, chat. <laughs> the owner trying to kill the directors if they ever raise the price of the hot dog. 
weekly break my neck with her ties, I wouldn't mind. This week wave got me salivating. <laughs> Someone woke up horny, I see. Mm -hmm. Rose, you've been spitting out some horny thoughts this morning. <laughs> if I was in my time of the month, you would have got me in so much trouble right now. Mm -hmm. So true, bestie. <laughs> Hi, Kato. Welcome. Who's that fuckboy? It's me. Hi. How's my fuckboy tongue? Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. <laughs> The same thing with the Arizona tea, cause they're supposed to sell for 99, yeah but no one does that. No one fucking does that. Every time that I go to a store and I see Arizona iced teas now, they're like $2, $3. Somebody snitch on these stores. <laughs> Tell the founder, things are bad down here. Mm. 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 Fuck chat, I really want to listen to that meatball song now. That's the first thing I'm gonna play after I hop off stream. Eres colosa, colosa y glotona. Colosa, colosa y glotona. Estás en la cama y tú eres colosa. Estás en la cocina, tú eres glotona. <laughs> Sorry, I think I got a little bit carried away there. Wick, wickasa, wicksa, 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 wicksa. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> How are my manly kisses, by the way? <laughs> play it? Okay, I'll play it. <clears throat> Let me change on... I, I, Cause I think I'm done with my morning routine. Um, so we'll, we'll change on categories. Yeah, there we go. I remembered. I know how to do things. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, we are getting near the end of the stream. If you are here for, or were here, for the nice tingles and whispers and these triggers that make you feel nice and relaxing and tingly no more there's not gonna be any of that exactly in fact let me do something that might wake you up <laughs> this is so foul We changed, we changed to the just chatting category now, okay? So I'm gonna play the song, we're gonna take a hit, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to the gym. <laughs> I'm sorry if that woke up anyone, but uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> ending stream soon. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. personal attention to set you off. Okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> We're changing the scenery here, okay? Mm. Let's take a hit. This is a fucking- this is a certified barrio classic. Oh no, 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 no. Mm-mm-mm. mm I don't want to miss a second of that shit. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, golosa, 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 gol
Oh shit, speaking of Golos, I gotta finish my yogurt. Come, come, pinch up. Come, pa. Yo, what the fuck is she eating, though? That shit look. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at all those pastries. She got fucking. What, what kind of shake is that? Pineapple shake? Chocolate? Damn, she living! Yo por ti no siento nada. Quisiera divorciarme porque yo no comporto tu Quiero morirme. Siento nada para que no estés bien inflada. Y ese tema va para todas las golosas de Chiapas, México y el mundo entero de parte de Chiapas, México. Ándale, cabrón. Oh shit, shit's about to drop! Chat, chat's gonna drop! Yo! Certified Barrio Classic. <laughs> that song is great. Yo, fucking old ass Mexican songs have the weirdest fucking music video and themes. Like, they have, like, um, what, what is that other fucking song? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, this one, I mean, a lot of people are not gonna going to be able to understand it. This is the last song I'm gonna play. Then I'm gonna dip. <laughs> I have to listen to it. It's one of my favorites. Um, this guy, the entire time, he, 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 I think it sounds good. But <laughs> why is giving the toilet in your YouTube recent? Was it? <laughs> was it or were you clowning on me? I actually don't know why it was there. <laughs> Maybe I, maybe I did look it up. <laughs> You're so skibbity. But um, okay, this entire song is basically this man is singing about how much his wife loves him, that she cooks so much for him and gave him cholesterol because of all the fried and all of the huge amounts of food that she gives him. So the entire time, he's just singing about how his cholesterol is so high and how he needs to lose weight. And he just like sings about his wife complaining about how he doesn't eat as much anymore. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Wait, no, no, no. You guys have to hear it from the beginning. <laughs> the song is called 
el colesterol. <laughs> this cutie is very toilet, but my sus. <laughs> Aw, who are my nice little look maxers? <laughs> Who's the most alpha chat I have? You guys are. <laughs> Who's my little pot champ? <laughs> I'm mugging for anyone. <laughs> Damn. Not even for a cute dog. It's okay. Mm. One day I'll find my wife. I want to get cholesterol. <laughs> I want her to love me so much, I get cholesterol. So wait, wait, where, where's the part where like she? Oh, I guess it's not here. But <laughs> that bit, it, it's his wife asking him what happened, my love. Do you want a fried chicken or fried chicharron or anything that I could make you? <laughs> And he's like, oh, I can't have any of that right now, my love. <laughs> and she's like, what's going on? You changed up. <laughs> I think she's trying to legitimately kill him. Mi pechuguita. I can cook, si se puede. Si se puede, si se puede. Yo, look at, look at, look at everything this woman is bringing him. She loves him so much. She's either dead or she's trying to fucking kill him by next week. Like, <laughs> he's like, I can't have any of that right now. And then she, she's gonna say, oh, what's wrong with you? You're eating so much less. Don't you love me? <laughs> and he's like, nah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Fucking banger. <laughs> okay, I'm packing my last hit. I'm gonna hold this between my very manly titties. Holding it between my man tits. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed the majority of the stream. Wait, 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 wait. Do you guys hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> My bad. As I was saying, um, I want to actually stream lighter. Left ear only. Yeah, I hear that. Hello, hello, hello. Checking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Both ears working now. I think so. <clears throat> but um, I want to stream later today to um do Friday night. Fri Friday date night. Um, we haven't done that in a while. 
and I thought it would be a nice idea to go back and do a roleplay or, you know, just hang out on a date type of setting. We might trauma dump on, on each other or not, I don't know, who knows? We never know how those dates usually go, but they're a lot of fun and I miss them. <laughs> Justice for Waffle House? Oh shit, we can do that. Kirby, thank you. Holy shit. We could we could probably come back and hang out at the Waffle House. I'll I'll be down for that. <laughs> but um I I took too long to pack my head and I still got it here, so can we just can we play one last song? I need a certified barrio classic. I've never been to Waffle House, so I'm excited. We're gonna look at the menu and everything. I, I've i only been to IHOP. People say it's similar to IHOP, but I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What about El Gato Volador? <laughs> Not one of the best songs, but it's just one of those old, like, nonsense songs that came out around this time too like it just inappropriate for some users oh hell yeah i definitely want to watch it now this is this song is literally about a flying cat it's about a flying cat how is the fucking video inappropriate see what could they have done mexicans what are you doing oh it's, it's this say argentina argentinans what the fuck are you doing I got the volador. Ah. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't remember that they said that. Wait, so they're singing about a flying cat. And then he's like, the cat goes like this. He's like, what the fuck? That's not how a flying cat goes. He would go like meow 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 meow. Why 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 is this cat going? What the fuck kind of cat is this? What kind of cats do they have in Argentina? Horrible. He's saying shit that makes no fucking sense. I love it. Pinche gato. ¿Qué hace ahí? Mira ese pinche gato. ¿Qué está ahí haciendo arriba? Que se baje. No. <laughs> the way that was like. They got, a, they got a guy in a cat costume to fucking go around. <laughs> and do this shit. Wait. You guys think you guys think he's having a good time? That, <laughs> that shit looks annoying as fuck in full blown costume. Like can you imagine how fucking hot it is and fucking <laughs> swinging. <laughs> Mr. Gockle. Good morning. Horrible. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna light this up now. Cheers, chat. this song he was he was just naming animals and then he goes um <laughs> I go like a cow moo <laughs> that was the end that was the end <laughs> what that was so funny he just named animals 
<laughs> How do you look at another man straight in the eye? <laughs> and then say, I'm like a cow. Moo. <laughs> How did they now start cracking up? Noisy. Uh. <laughs> he freezed out. He was just thinking of all the farm animals he knows. Great freestyle filler. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> Yeah, wait, how was this video age restricted? You're right, I forgot about that part. What, is it the animal sounds? Wait, you're right, I just realized that. What was inappropriate? Or like, they've only been saying the cat, the flying cat, and making animal sounds. How could this even be remotely inappropriate? Is it towards the end? They're talking about a flying cat, this cannot be inappropriate. I I don't see anything. It's restricted because it's Spanish. <laughs> no Latinos. Son malos para ti. Latino brain rot. Makes sense. Who would ever want to consume Latino entertainment? They in Argentina. <laughs> Who would ever watch Latinos? <laughs> Yo, I haven't. Speaking of like Latino channels and Latinos, I have not seen a uh, telenovela in so long. <clears throat> I was just I was looking down here to see. Rica y apretadita. I fucking love this song. This song is. This is not even like a meme song. This song is just fucking banger. Oh wait, this is a meme song. Suavemente. <laughs> wait, wait, chat. Okay. This is the last hit I'm taking. I'm saying bye. Um, I don't have any mutuals online, and everyone else is streaming ASMR when I'm playing a fucking house party music, so we're not gonna raid anyone. I was looking, but we're just gonna say bye after this song. <laughs> Epa! Epa!
What the fuck? Making that looks gross. Fries. I fucking love. I, I fucking love. Butter <laughs> <laughs> fries. Oh! Oh, they're gonna make potato fries. My mom? Yo, she has a Aren't technique. There usually, I don't know. like, two guys kissing in one of these videos. Mas essa receita pra você fazer amanhã, que tô querendo comer Olha. faz muito tempo, viu? Oxi! Fazer? O que foi? Tu não viu, não? O quê? <risos> <risos> the delicious chocolate. I love chocolate so much. I, 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 What the I fuck? Know. Why the fuck? Why did they put the fucking flies there? What the fuck? Nah! What? Nah! Never shows that again. What? I have lost my appetite. What the fuck? So you're making like banana? Oh, boy, what's what? It be here what is now? it? Banana bread. Oh, puppies! The fuck are these? Okay, they're doggies, though. They're puppies. Glasses. Did <laughs> we <laughs> eating? Oh, shit. That was so funny. Glasses. Look at them. Me when I get you, chat. This is gonna be me when I get you. Oh shit. Hold up, these are dirty. What are they? Oh, I love chicken breast so much when you grill. <laughs> Was that fucking dragon fruit they were sharing? What the fuck? <laughs> oh hey, this is chicken marsala. I recognize this this recipe anywhere. I'm a pro at making it. Best one around, chat. <clears throat> right, Tell you. Is that chicken thigh? Chicken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> Not the queen! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she got pianist. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! Alright, what would you got? Is that chicken thighs? Oh! <laughs> that was so fucking funny. Oh! <laughs> Homie was like, don't fucking look at me. <laughs> Let's drink some milk. Hey, yo! Damn, that one was spicy. Holy shit. Can we go back? <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> Wait. Right, Starbucks drink some milk. Are they gonna just sneak that one in? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, this is the same one, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, hey, I know him. Wow! <laughs> Locked the fuck in. He was ready for it. Wow, fries. I love my fries with chicken and I let him in any regime. I've been tagged a lot. Fries, steak. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Wait, what? <laughs> I haven't seen that one too much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm I'm not gonna procrastinate my workout anymore, even though I could look at YouTube shorts all day long. Look at it, so cute. Oh, these adorable dorks. <laughs> Okay, this is me and you guys. Dug the bullets out of the Of course, my fucking After YouTube shorts are just dogs. Of running around. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop pushing away my responsibilities and actually get my ass up and go to the gym. It was <laughs> nice hanging out with you guys this morning. Sorry to the people that got woken up by all of the music and the partying and all that hype at the end of the stream. We got a little bit excited, <laughs> but we had a good time. And I, I might be back later. Um, I would estimate like seven, six hours from now. Um, if that changes, I'll just you know update you guys and let you know how my day is going. But I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night. Thank you for joining me.
Who's my little pot chat? You are. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Oh, we're not reading anyone because I don't have any mutuals and we, um, you know, got a little bit. Uh, we took a detour from ASMR. There we go. That's what I meant to say. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your days. Bye, everyone. Mm.